Welcome back guys to another episode on, on the Honda Civic Mark 1 or Series 1. Today I'm um, tackling the wheels. Uh, I want to give um, this wheel, another this rim, uh, a coat of paint. It used to be grey as you can see here, like a silver grey. Somebody decided to give it a paint of red or some kind of brown, but I think it's a, more like a red colour. I don't know why. And um, yeah, I want it back to silver again to make it look a little bit more standard. Now this little job I'm doing here, it's not going to be perfect. I don't want to, you know, make it look like I'm doing a 100% restoration job here. This is just to make it a little bit more nicer again uh, from a distance. When you come up close, I'm sure you're going to notice, even if I've painted it, after painting, I'm, I'm sure I'll notice, notice some imperfections. So, so far what I've done is um, I've gone to the shops and got some wax and grease remover here there you go that's a brand i'm using that's from our um, super cheap auto sh store and it's a it's just a wax and grease remover so it's not going to need anything special and the other thing i've got is i've got some wheel paint this is a, a silver gray of some kind and um i'm gonna tr hopefully it'll match or get close to what the original one was doesn't have to be perfect but that's the color there the original color was a little bit uh, uh what do you call it um brighter i guess maybe a fresher one would be that one there but anyway so i've got some paint and then here i've got some primer um some primer this is an engine primer I got the wrong one but it doesn't matter it will do as long as you use primer it should be quite okay this will stick to um, engine engine uh, metal it will stick to any metal pretty much it will stick to steel so that will probably be best I think for this type of thing because it's gonna go straight onto the steel and I'm not gonna bother sanding it either you can sand this as well if you want it to stick even stronger but um, for this particular um, job, I'm not going to bother with sanding. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do some scraping. So here I'm just scraping away just to get some of the loose paint off here. Some flaking, loose flaking paint. So don't go overboard with this uh, process here. Just do a very light um, scrape with the screwdriver flat blade and just go all the way around there you go got some loose stuff there too because this is what will cause your paint to um, lift off prematurely so the best thing is to try and loose, loosen as much of the loose paint already before you add the primer So I've already done a little bit of scraping before I started filming. I'm just doing a little bit for, for the camera now. There you go. You can sort of see it come. Um, you can see it, you know, coming off. And after you've done enough scraping and you're satisfied, the best thing to use is the um uh, we call it this uh, grease and wax remover. It's an alcoholic based, alcohol based like, um, um, mineral, and that will help prepare your surface as well. When you do come to paint, there will be no oil residue on the actual metal or the job. And now allow the paint to stick a lot easier. So here I'm still going. There's still a bit more coming off here. Alright, I'm not gonna go too far overboard now. I think I'm gonna leave that. I think I got the majority of it. So you've got the idea of what's going on here. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna use the wax and grease remover to um, remove the residues that have I mean, these um, particles that I've scraped away. There you go, you can see a lot of that paint coming off now.
Oh, okay. Make sure you've got a, a really good rag. Tip that out. I've got all that flaking paint. And um, give it a good wipe when you're done. Now, the next thing to do pretty much is to get rid of this little valve there because that is not going to be needed. That's just going to get in the way. And the best thing to use is one of these um, cutters. If you can manage to get onto that. Using one hand is a little bit difficult, but I will do my best. Here we go. Just get on under there. Don't worry about these little things because you can get brand new ones when you go to tire shop. They're gonna they're gonna sell you a new one. Just got the top there and pull it like so. That is no longer needed. And now we'll make sure we can get the paint all the way to the edge right there. Before you apply any primer make sure it dries completely because um, if it's not dry it will not give you a really good finish. Now I've also got a little brush like one of these that will allow me to get into the corners and the sharp edges there in the corners of the tire of the rim sorry give it a good clean out as well in there Go all the way around, give it a brush, make sure that that paint primer sticks and to get all those little loose debris that's stuck in there. Give it a blowout if you have an air compressed um, air compressor. Be the best thing to use is to use that to, to um, blow all the way in here with a press with a air gun. Just using my mouth that's good so that looks like it's almost dry now um, looks like it's almost dry I think that would be almost ready now to start the painting process I'm gonna hit it with a bit of primer first thing and then we'll see what happens we'll see how it looks It's not a strange sight. That's what happens when you're working in nature. You don't get to see all that stuff in the workshop. Interesting. So now I'm going to start adding this uh, coat of primer. After giving it a bit of a shake, make sure it's good. down that side that angle and then try the other angle just to make sure you've got got it everywhere look at that I'm actually liking the way it's looking already <laughs> maybe I should just leave it in primer I've already got a little bit of a issue here that's what happens when you don't get all the flakes off. So yeah, got that off. That should be fine. Now do this angle. covered it pretty well most of the red um, that was uh, painted on this wheel is gone 
most of the red is gone I'm, it's looking really really good I'm gonna let that sit for a few minutes and I'm gonna apply another coat of undercoat and then I'll come back and uh, see what we can do here before we apply the paint but so far so good So this is the product I just in, um, applied just then that you got to witness. Engine Enamel Primer uh, with a ceramic finish. Um, it looks good so far. I'm waiting for it to dry. You could possibly just leave it in this um, enameled, um, whatever, this primer state. I think um, because it's, it look, it's looking quite, um, quite good. Okay. So yeah, maybe I'll leave it in this state, I'm not sure. If I decide to put another coat, uh, the next coat was going to be this uh, paint for the wheels. Um, I will probably do that as well. I'll probably add this on just to make it really really shine nicely because this one will make it look more metallic and more um, chrome as a, as the picture suggests here but to do that I need to wait for that uh, for this wheel here to to dry and then we can apply this one well guys I've decided to go ahead and use um, this paint here uh and guess what look at that i'm so glad i decided to use that paint because so far right now it just brings it to life it looks almost like brand new it looks that good guys man i'm so glad i used that one Whew, wow I'm pumped, I'm motivated now to do the other wheels because the other wheels look trash. The next time the next wheel I'm doing, I'll show you right now. This is the other wheel, guys. Look at that. Now whew, it's gonna be a big job. I'm gonna do a lot of cleaning here just to get this back. Look at that. This one's gonna have to be cleaned all the way deep cleaned. I don't know if I'm gonna sand this a little bit because it really needs um, it needs a little bit extra care for this one to work out. Because right here I've got a lot of surface rust. I could sand it, maybe a light sand with the sandpaper, possibly. I'm not sure. Um, and this guys is the tire that I uh, I got repaired yes yesterday. That was going flat on my um, on the Honda Civic. So, yeah, guys, tune in. Let's see what this one looks like. Um, I'm gonna let this one dry. This is my sample wheel. I'm gonna use a spare, but now it looks so good that I wanna actually put this one in the car. Boy, I hope the other ones come out this good. But this is really, really, really good. All right. Okay, guys. See you later. I'm not cut this video short while I let this wheel dry. We'll be back next time.